What's going on guys, LSRW here and today we're going to be doing two things today. I'm going to do an oil change on the Mustang with some Royal Purple. I got it right here. It is 5W20 Royal Purple, 8 quarts, that's how much the car holds. And then also, I'll do a review of it before I start the project. All right, now we got the car all jacked up. The next thing to do is get the creeper, drain pan, and tools, and let's drain some oil. All right, one thing you want to make sure of when you're draining oil, I did this once, but I'll never do it again. Make sure your drain pan is larger than the amount of oil that the car holds. So I know this car takes seven or eight quarts of oil, and this drain pan only holds seven. So I'm one quart short. Luckily for me, I have an extra one right here. So I should be all good when it comes to start draining the oil. One thing that all you guys know if you change your own oil, sometimes you do it and there's not a drop of oil dropped. Other times you do it, oil goes everywhere. So I've learned that I'm gonna take a piece of plastic like this one, which is a painter's tarp. I'm just gonna put it under the general area of where oil will be drained to hopefully catch most of it if I spill any. Now we gotta get to the oil filter. It's pretty simple. We got this cover plate right here that's underneath the engine. It's held on by one, two, three screw. Really easy. You just take out those three bolts and it just comes right out down and hangs there. As you can see, we got the filter right there. And whoever put it in used royal purple, which is really good because that's exactly what I'm putting back into the engine. One thing you gotta do before you start everything up, just make sure all your bolts and filters are tightened down so they're not leaking. And once you do that, go ahead and start her up. One thing I noticed that I, I've never put Royal Purple in my engines before. I always, uh, I had diesels before that, so I never put Royal Purple in. But for those who you don't know, per Royal Purple oil is actually purple. That's pretty cool. I didn't know. I guess that's why they call it Royal Purple, right? Oh well, fun facts. Now it's been about five minutes since the oil has been poured into the engine. It's pretty much in the drain pan. There was no leaks. Let's go ahead and start up and make sure everything's running all nice and smooth. Just let the car run for about 10 minutes, get all the oil moving in there. Gotta go ahead and check the levels and see. Alright, let's go ahead and check the oil levels. And it looks like we're right in the middle, right where we need to be. So, the oil change is done. Alright, that concludes this video. I know I said in the beginning I was going to do an oil change and review, but I'm going to go ahead and break this up into two parts because if you don't really care how to do an oil change, that's fine, you can just go ahead and skip right to the review. Um, or vice versa, if you don't want to see the review, but you want to see the oil change, well, I'm making it to a two-part video. So, I'll probably post that video shortly after I post this one. For now, this is LSRW.